Morning, everybody. Um, I'm just sitting about having a coffee while I wait to go to a little job that I do on a Sunday. Uh, I was just thinking to myself, there's a post came up on fa- um, Facebook which uh, sort of uh, rattled my cage. Well, not rattled my cage, but uh, made me think a bit. Um, and that was uh, uh, what people were eating in the 1960s. Um, but what it did was, it made me think back. Now, I'm 62. I was born in 1962, actually. I was born a year before President died. Uh, President Kennedy was assassinated. Um, and uh, that's like a different world then. I mean, to think that I'm 62 years old, I'm still on this planet, and, and the world has changed so much. I'll give you a rough idea. I mean, as far as I can remember back, when I go right back into my early childhood, which I sort of struggle to do at this age, I suppose, but um, I can remember the Beatles being live on top of the Pops. I can remember the moon landing. I can remember that Sunday morning. I sat with my grandfather at the farm where I was brought up um, on a black and white telly watching Neil Armstrong step on a very fuzzy incomprehensible picture of Neil Armstrong stepping onto the moon and saying them immortal words. I can remember the Vietnam War going on. I can definitely remember that news clip of the young girl burnt all over, come running down that street away from an APOM attack. The classic bit of video that everybody shows. I can remember that being done live. Um, although I was a young child, things still sit in your mind, you know, and... Uh, um, I can even remember Abavan when the uh, kids got killed in the primary school. I mean, I would have been four or five then, but I can remember everybody being really shocked in the house. We lived in Burnham on Crouch then, and um, that's when my father was just separate from my mother. And uh, I can remember sitting there, and Dad, Dad was nearly in tears. I mean, he was only a young man then. I mean, he's dead now, God rest his soul. But he, uh, I can remember him going on about how, you know, these kids are the same age as you, you know, and stuff like that. So I can remember that happening. I can remember the three-day week. I can remember the power cuts all through the early 70s. So I know what it's like to be under a bad Labour government. And uh, that's one of the reasons Heath went into the original common market, I think. <laughs> God knows. But yeah, so uh, it's funny how you look back and think how different it was then. I mean... I mean, like telephones. I mean, I can remember when the telephones were three digits. I mean, where we used to live, it was Kirby Kane, then three digits, you know. And uh, now it's whatever, you know. And uh, I can remember before all these towns in Suffolk and Norfolk were bypassed. I can remember Beckles, Bungie, uh, Harleston, all these places before they were bypassed. Now they look as though they've been bypassed for centuries. <laughs> You know, um, so, yeah. You know, the thing about getting old, when you get older, you do, uh, I mean, people say about old people, you know, you spell, I suppose I'm old now, I'm over 60, I don't bloody know. People say you're late middle age, I don't know. I think they're clutching at straws because looking at some of the 60-year-olds that I know, they look bloody 70, I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, you know, it's... People say, oh, you know, when you get to an age over 55, yeah, you ain't got nothing to offer and all that. But what you got to realise is, us guys, yeah, we might not be able to run a marathon and we might not be able to dig holes in steel anymore, but or do long, long hours. I mean, that's the thing I struggle with is hours. I mean, I work a four-day week, 34-hour week, and that's enough for me. I do two days on the trot, then I have a day off, then I do another two days. Um, if I do three days, I really start to feel it a bit, you know, but I do do a manual job. I'm maintenance gardener, you know, um, but I'm, I've paid my dues. I've done my long hours. I've done my 60, 70 hour weeks when I was younger, you know, although there are a lot of people who've just basically given up at the age of 55, got taken to their electric buggies and put a load of weight on and basically gone disabled, you know. Well, there's no reason why they should do that. I mean, a lot of people I know are claiming all these benefits and that. There's nothing wrong with them. They just need to do a bit of exercise and lose some fucking weight. But at the end of the day, it's... um, it's People of our age group have a lot to offer because we've got experience. I mean, I've got youngsters where I work. Yes, they've got knowledge of the fields that they've been taught in. 
Um, but they've got no other knowledge. Now, if you take them out of their comfort zone, they're fucked. They don't got a clue. I don't know what they teach them at schools now, but it isn't a very broad curriculum. You know, um, you know, when I left school, I mean, you know, I knew where what all the countries were. I knew all, you know, uh, just general life. You know, um, I knew how to cook because <laughs> we used to do um, cookery and all that. But they don't seem to know anything now. I mean, yeah, they know a lot about computers and IT and social media and how to make themselves look orange, you know. But uh, as far as uh, life in general. And when and because they've got such little knowledge, they can't talk. So, of course, you get all these youngsters about, and they're like, people say they're shy. They're not shy. They've been switched off by the system. Because everything's in their phone, and unless they can Google it, they don't, it doesn't go in here. They can't even travel anywhere because they don't know where they're going. They're so reliant on sat-nav. When, years ago, I drove a van around, around this part of England, I, I prided myself that anywhere east of Cheltenham, south of, say, Doncaster, and north of the Thames, yeah, to the east coast, I could pretty much drive within about five miles of any address in that area off the top of my head. People can't do that anymore because they use sat nav all the time. So when you talk about going to, say, the Lake District... And what roads you're going to use, they just look at you blankly because they know what the fuck you're talking about. Because all they're used to doing is putting a dress in a sat nav and then going, which is great until a sat nav packs up or they lose their phone. Then they're completely bollocks because they've got no idea where they are. They've got no sense of direction. They ain't got a clue. So I think in some respects, these modern devices uh, work against you, you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, um, yeah, I think the mobile th- phone is a wonderful thing. I'm not a Philistine. Yeah, I've got an iPhone 14 Pro. I use it all the time. I have got a little Facebook account. I used to have a big one with all my photographs because I'm a bit of a photographer. Um, on, but it, uh, oh, it just got full of numpties basically. So what I did was I totally closed it, and I've just got people on mine now who I actually know and who I interact with. So that's knocked it from about eight hundred down to a hundred. And uh, really, I could go down as low as fifty, really, and that'd be enough. My Instagram is a lot higher. That's at four and a half thousand. Um, but that's because I do a lot of black and white photography, and that, that's why that's high. But most of them are scammers, I expect. And, uh, and then I do my little YouTube channel, which is uh, just me, a bit of fun, really. Um, but, yeah, uh, yeah. so looking back, I mean, yeah, I think... Uh, because people often say to me, oh, Julian, you know, you know a lot. Every time I ask you a question, you always seem to know the answer. I said, well, no, I'm not any more intelligent than you are. It's just that in 50-odd years, you know, since I was about 12, 13, I've worked to some degree. Um, I've done something. I've done so much in my life. I'm not one of these people who get stuck in the same job for 40-odd years. The most I ever stick a job is probably about five or six. Um, And uh, so I change a lot, and I've done lots of training and what have you, and I've been all, uh, all over Europe and various bits and pieces so it all goes in your in your brain pan and uh, at the end of the day I'm not any more intelligent than you it's just the fact that I've done a lot more so I've remembered a lot more so when people ask me about certain things I say well yeah you know this is what this is and they go oh you know how do you know that you know I said well I read books I go on the internet I read the internet I travel okay <laughs> you know you, you sort of pick it up you know so um it's a bit worrying when you've got people in their 20s think that Spain is a county in England. I mean, that to me is unforgivable. I mean, I don't know. I, <laughs> I, I don't know how, how the hell you can go through six years of education, um, secondary education, and not know Spain as a country in Europe. I don't know. But that's another story. OK, I'm going to shoot because I've got to go to work in a little while and... Uh, a big hall near me where I do a bit of gardening work and uh, it's blowing a gale but uh, I can't go when I normally go because uh, Julie wants to go to uh, Braintree Village next week so that's the day that I normally do it so I've had to move the day to today while she's at work so I'm not going to get my ass blown off for four hours but happy days. Right, okay then, speak to you all later. And don't forget to subscribe, it all helps. My numbers are gradually going up. I've only been doing this properly for a few months and uh, 
I'm up to 333, I noticed. I would like to hit 1,000. I think once you hit 1K, I think you feel as though you're sort of getting somewhere then. See you later.